Okay, this is the video answer key for learning target 133. Let's go ahead and get started. So this question asks us to find the percent composition of all the elements contained in this compound, iron 3 sulfate. Right? So the percent composition means we need to follow the percent composition formula. So we need the um, mass of the element. divided by the formula mass of the compound. And that's going to get multiplied by 100 to find the percent composition of each of these three elements. So the first thing we have to do is figure out the formula mass of the compound. And we're going to do that based on this formula. We'll list those elements. Iron is Fe, sulfur is S, and O for oxygen. Right? Three different capital letters, three different elements. Now we'll look up those masses on the periodic table. Iron is right here in the middle, 55.85. Multiply that by the subscript on iron, which is 2. Use our calculator to do the math. We get 111.7. We'll move on to sulfur. Sulfur's mass is 32.06. We'll multiply by 1 on sulfur and then 3 outside the parentheses. 32.06 times 1 times 3. That's the 1. There we go. 96.18. And then oxygen we know and love is 16.00 times the subscript on oxygen 4 times the subscript outside the parentheses 3. So times 4 times 3. And we get 192. Now we need to add all of those up to get our total formula mass. So 192 plus 96.18 plus 111.7, and we get 399.88 grams per mole. That is the number that goes there in our percent composition calculation. This is the number that goes on top for the percent of iron. This is the number that goes on top for the percent of sulfur. This is the number that goes on top for the percent of oxygen. Now we need to do those three different calculations. So for iron. We're going to calculate the mass that is just iron, 111.7, divided by the total mass, 399.88, times 100. And we're going to type that in our calculator exactly like it shows up. Parentheses, 111.7, divided by 399.88, close parentheses, multiplied by 100. And we get 27.9%. We'll follow the same steps for sulfur, except the top of our fraction will be a different value, the 96.18. The bottom will be the total mass of the whole compound, 399.88 times 100. Let's type this into our calculator. We get 24.1%. The last element that we need to do percent composition for is oxygen. And so we take the mass that is oxygen, 192, divided by the total mass, 399.88, times 100. Again with the calculator. Just forgot the parentheses. Multiply by 100, and we get 48.0%. And that's what we're going to list for our percent composition. For iron, 27.9. For sulfur, 24.1%. And for oxygen, almost half, 48.0%. The next question asks us to determine the mass of 0.982 moles of silver nitrate. 
right? So we're going to start this problem off by writing down what they give us. 0 0.982 moles. I may have said that. feels like I said that backwards when I read the problem. But write it down as it appears. And we're going to convert, right? Determine the mass. We've got moles, so we need to change that. So we need times on a line. We need to find grams. That's what it's asking us to figure out. And we want to get rid of these moles, so that goes on bottom. Now we need some numbers to put in there. We're not given the formula mass, and that's why this is 3.0, because we have to calculate it real quick. So we need the formula mass of this whole compound. We've got Ag, we've got N, and we've got O. Silver, nitrogen, and oxygen. Silver is Ag, right there, 107.87. Multiplied by the subscript, 1. That makes the math nice and straightforward. Nitrogen. Its mass on the periodic table is 14.01 times the subscript on nitrogen, which is 1. Again, straightforward math. Oxygen, we don't even have to look it up. We know it now. 16 times the subscript on oxygen, which is 3. 16 times 3 is 48. Now we need to add all that together to get the molar mass of this compound. So we'll use our calculator. 107.87 plus 14.01 plus 48. We get 169.88 grams per mole. This fraction that we just found tells us the numbers that go in here. With mole under the fraction, there's a 1 because it's not written, so that's what we write here. This number, 169.88, goes with grams. Now we can put this in parentheses, cancel out moles, and use our calculator to get the final answer. So we'll type it just like it shows up on our paper. 0 0.982 times parentheses 169.88 divided by 1, close parentheses, and hit enter. And we get 166.82216 grams. Now we need to round. We've got three significant figures here. So we go to our third digit, which is this six. We're going to cut it off there. The eight behind that line tells me to round that six up to seven. So my final answer is going to be 167 grams of AgNO3, silver nitrate. One more for us. <clears throat> the last problem here. We're going to determine the number of moles in nickel sulfate in a 250 gram sample. So we start by writing down what they give us, 250.0 grams, and we're, we need to convert that to moles. That's why it says determine the number of moles. So we set up our conversion, times on a line. We want to find mole that goes on top. We need to get rid of grams that goes on bottom. But we don't have anything to put into this fraction. So just like in the last one, we had to figure out the formula mass. we got to do the same thing here. So we're going to list our elements, nickel, sulfur, and oxygen. Find the masses of each. Nickel is in the middle of the periodic table, 58.69. Times the subscript on nickel, which is 2. And that gives us 117.38. Sulfur's mass on the periodic table, way over here, 32.06. times the subscript on sulfur, 1, times the subscript outside the parentheses, 3. We get 96.18. And then oxygen, we know is 16, times the subscript on oxygen, 4, times the subscript outside the parentheses, 3. 16 times 3 times 4 gives us 192. Now we've got to add all this up together. 117.38 plus 96.18 plus 192. And we get 405.56 grams per mole. This fraction right here tells us what to put in our fraction in our, in our conversion problem up here. Mole doesn't have a number. That means it gets 1. 
grams has a number, 405.56. We're going to use parentheses here, cross off grams, and use our calculator to solve now. We're going to type 250.0 times parentheses, 1 divided by 405.56, close parentheses, enter, and we get an answer of 0 0.61643 moles. We take a look at our number, 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs. So we go to the 1, 2, 3, 4th digit. We're not going to round up because of that 3. So 0 0.6164 moles of Ni2SO4-3. All right, thanks.